Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video that shows how to do print screen in a better way in Ubuntu. There is a button on your keyboard that is print screen and you usually activate that if you have a laptop by holding down the special function key that comes uh, with a computer that if you have a laptop it's over on your left next to the Windows key. You hold it down and you hit print screen and it brings up not print screen but screen shot. The terminology is different. It gives a default name screen shot dot suffix PNG. You can change the name to anything. If you take a succession of them by default they'll go screenshot then screenshot one two three and so on. The default folder is desktop here and you can also save to clipboard. Now remember one is print screen that's the button. The other one is screenshot. You can call up this program through the terminal also by typing in gnome dash screenshot and remember the formal way to bring up the terminal is control alt T and you type in G N O M E dash screen shot and when you do you get the exact same thing. Beyond that there is a help screen. I'm going to instead of retyping gnome dash screenshot I'm just going to use the up arrow key space dash dash help and you see all of the parameters of the program. Now you can just apply it to a window or an area. You can put a border around it but the best one is dash I for interactive and I'm going to do that now. Up arrow get rid of help dash I interactive. Now here you have a GUI and it's much much better. This way you don't have to remember all the switches. You can grab the whole desktop, just an area, or the current window. If you grab the current window you can delay any number of seconds to get to that window. And if you want to you can include the pointer. If you do grab the window you can also show the border or not and if you want to show a shadow. Now let me grab this window right up here and when I say take screenshot I'll go to here and there it is. I'm going to save it. Let me just diminish the actual terminal and here's the screenshot of that terminal. And I grabbed a border. It's kind of ugly. I'm going to delete this. This is the output of the very video I'm making right now. I'm going to now show you a better way to bring this up so that you don't have to use the terminal. I have a prior video that shows how in system preferences, keyboard shortcuts. I had a, uh, showed you how to bring up the terminal. Control Alt T is the uh, standard one. I didn't uh, change that. You can make some custom ones. I'm going to go all the way down and I have all of these custom shortcuts that I've made including how to bring up these very keyboard shortcuts the keyboard shortcuts I can bring up this screen with the Windows key that's mod 4 and K. The keyboard shortcuts I'll tap on this here. I'll enlarge it. Gnome dash key binding singular dash properties plural. And that brings up this very screen. I'll do that now. I'm just going to hold Windows key and K and there I am. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to custom at the bottom. 
Oh, I already have it. Shoot. Well, I can eliminate this. And the way to get rid of these is, is really easy. Is you just go right click. No, that's not how you do it. To get rid of these, you highlight it and then hit remove down here at the bottom. Well, I've already got it up here. Shoot. Right click and you give it some name here I called it print screen but here's the command gnome dash screenshot space dash I and the keyboard command that I gave to it is a combination of alt windows screen and P for print screen I did this when I ran out of the letters of the alphabet for Windows screen alone and I didn't want to use alt alone and since the alt button is right next to the Windows button over on the left of the spacebar you can press both of them simultaneously with your thumb so when we hit alt Windows key P we will get this interactive GUI I'll do that now and there it is. I can do that any time. So let me bring up some Shakespeare here. And you can see what you can do with this. I'm going to go Alt Windows Key P and I'm going to take a screenshot but I'm just going to grab one area of the screen. When I hit this down here, the arrow is going to turn into a plus symbol. I'll move the plus symbol up here and hold down on my mouse, or actually I don't have a mouse, I have a laptop. It's going to be the, the left button and then I'll go over here and hit this and that'll grab a rectangle. So I'll do that now. I'm positioning it. Left mouse button. I'm holding it down and now I'm moving this. There. Now save. Let's do it again. Windows key alt simultaneously with a P. Grab area. Move this out of the way. Take screenshot. Left mouse button. Save one more time Windows key alt P move it out of the way select area take screenshot left mouse key let go save Let's diminish this. Let's go function 11 to go full screen. Yes, full screen is function 11. Now, when you hit page down, each time you hit page down, it shows one full screen panel. When you hit escape, it's off. Diminish. Well, let me review. The function button on your laptop plus print screen brings up save screenshot. But 
with a terminal you can type in the program in a better manner. Control Alt T and you type in GNOME screenshot and when you hit enter it brings up the exact same thing as the print screen button does. If you put in help it tells you all the parameters. If you put in I for interactive it brings up this really excellent take screenshot GUI graphic user interface window. This is the whole desktop screen. This is one window and with it you have to use the delay feature. I guess a, a second would be enough. And with grab area when you hit take screenshot the arrow turns into a plus you go over to the area you want to grab and when you when you hit the left mouse button it grabs the area and when you release it saves it uh, the other thing is to put it into system preferences keyboard shortcuts go to the bottom add and you can call it print screen and you type in this very same thing gnome and screenshot and you put in interactive and you apply and then initially it's going to say disabled and when you click on it you can give it any other any any key combination you want to that does not interfere with anything else and so for example you could call this uh, Windows key W or you could call this Alt W or you could call this Alt 1 and close. So now Alt 1 brings it up and if you want to get rid of it you go down to highlight it and remove. Well I hope this has been helpful my name is Pop. I have a whole bunch of YouTube videos. Many of them are about Ubuntu and I invite you to look at them and I thank you very very much.